Hey everybody, Mr. Bowman here. In this video, we are looking at the external for level three stats, the two or oh, the 3.13 probability concepts exam. Um, this one was a bit weird. There was only one achieved question by itself in this 2019 exam, but I do want to note there were heaps and heaps of other opportunities to get achieved marks, um, but they form part of the merit and excellence questions um, for this one. So let's get straight into our one and only question from this exam. So question number one, there are three social media sites commonly used by young adults. We've got Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Um, this question's all about the Instagram side of things. And Instagram reports that 80% of the users are from outside the United States. So that means the other 20% um, would be inside US. Um, a large portion of the users logging in daily. Of the non-US users, we have 47.5% logging in every day. And of the US users, there are 60% every day. So now into the question. Um, it is estimated there are 1 billion users. Um, Instagram claims that 0.8 billion users log in every day. So we did have quite a bit of information about the everyday users. Um, is this claim consistent with the information provided? So we've broken down the question, and um, I guess we're trying to find out how many daily users there are for Instagram. So we need to break that up into US users and non-US users. So let's start off by calculating the probability that a randomly selected Instagram users um, user is going to have daily usage. Um, and that's going to relate to the probability of someone from outside the US being a daily user um, plus the probability of someone from the US being a daily user. So let's start off with the, um, the non-US part. So we were told that 80% of the users weren't from the US. That's going to be 0.8. So that group of 0.8, we're going to times it by 0.475, which represents the 47.5% likelihood that a non-US person is going to be using it daily. So this is going to relate to the non-US proportion of the daily users. We then need to add on the US version. So that's going to be the remaining 20%. And that 20% has a 60% chance of logging in every day. So we've got 0.6. So by adding these together, we're going to get the overall probability of a daily usage. And if you plug that into your calculator, you are going to get 0 0.5. Um, so we've now got the probability. The issue is we were asked about the number of billions. So let's work out the expected value. So the expected value of daily users or daily usage is going to be equal to n times p. n relates to the number of trials. In this case, it's going to be 1 billion. And p relates to the probability of a daily usage. So in that, this calculation is going to be 0 0.5 billion daily users. And when we compare that with the 0 0.8 claimed by Instagram, we can see that's actually quite a big difference. That's a 300 million difference or 0.3 billion difference. So that claim is definitely not uh, validated. So um, before we answer, before we finish this question, you've actually got to answer the question in a sentence. It is a stats class. After all, we need to get a sentence to describe it. So I've got um, 0 0.8, oh, sorry, 0 0.5 billion is much less than the 0 0.8 billion claimed by Instagram. Forgive my messy handwriting. I actually don't even know how to spell Instagram. I think I Instagram, just look there. Um, I actually don't have Instagram at all, um, which is fun. Oh, I used to have it one day, but now it's completely gone. Um, this means... The claim is not consistent... with our calculations. 
There you go. We probably said a bit too much here, but probably better to have too much than too little. So that wraps up the one and only achieved question from the 2019 exam. Um, thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye out for the next videos coming up.